This is it, mate. We've made it to the, uh, the centre of all the borders. Feels like about 300,000 dunes later. <laughs> oh, there it is, mate. The old post. Old August. August? August or August? Augustus. Augustus. You can stand in all three states all at once. Look at that. It's cool over here. It's cool in South Australia. It is. You better come back to the Northern Territory. That's better. <laughs> I'm going to keep going uh, in the Northern Territory. So it was in 1884 that Augustus Popple, he dug the hole and he planted this post. And it was to mark all three borders. Now, his mission was to head from here to the Gulf of Carpentaria. Now, it's 600 miles to the border. So it was poor old Augustus Popple that only made it halfway, 325 miles to be exact and he had to pull out. He got uh, blind in one eye, and we're not sure whether it was he got an injury or a disease or something like that, or infection. Anyway, he pulled out and he went back to Adelaide. Now, it was John Carruthers that took over from that point, and he headed out to the Gulf using the same equipment. So the equipment wasn't changed. So therefore, by the time they hit the Gulf, they were 600 metres out. Now, later on in the series, we're going to head out to that Gulf country and we're going to have a look at that last post that was put in right out on the coastline there. Hey, Jase, I'm not sure if old mate got a crook eye or whether he got sacked. Got the sack. Well, there's a new one over here. He was out from the get-go. Oh, you reckon he's out just from that point yeah, to that point? Yeah, he blew it from the start. This is the post here. Yeah, that's just the new one. Yeah, that's the new one that's in the right spot. But anyway, we had a chat to Bill at the Queensland Museum about the uh, survey equipment of that day. All right, Jason, would you like to see a theodolite that uh, is exactly the same as what Popple used and got himself into trouble with? Hell yeah. OK, this is a, a Y theodolite, just like the one Popple used, the same vintage. These are the, what they call the Ys here, these two things that hold the telescope. And this, this is, is this the, thing uh, here, obviously, the, the yeah. telescope, yeah, with the crosshairs in. And this is what we call our uh, vertical axis or trunnion axis. And this was the one that wasn't level, was slightly inclined. And so as he produced that line oh, forwards, yeah, like... you get a left-hand tilt. It wasn't until uh, in reasonably recent times that they discovered this, uh, this problem on the border there. Yeah. And uh, it, 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 it's, it's a fact of life because it's the wooden marks in the ground as determined by court cases that uh, mark the border, not the present-day value of latitude and longitude. So... Extra land it is. Extra land it is, yeah.